Let's see some epic BPS. Yeah, let's see some epic BPS. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Blueprint Review. It is back. We have collected 10 very special, very amazing blueprints. We have the James Webb Space Telescope. We have, looks like a boat cruiser, an anti-gravity ship, Gemini engine, airport cannon, ion rocket, another couple engines, TXP-1 looks like a rocket, and the Eiffel Tower. These are the blueprints that we are going to be reviewing today. All right, let me pull up the game and we can get started. First is gonna be James Webb. This is by Axiom. Let's pull up the blueprint. Is this the James Webb? This doesn't look like it. I think the blueprints might've got mixed up. This one looks like the, the TXP1. It's in the fairing, okay. Oh, it does look like there's something up there. So that's cool that they actually built a little, here, I'm going to, yeah, it's definitely in there, okay. So this is cool. I like that they put it in a rocket, which is actually cooler because then we get to launch it into orbit uh, like the real James Webb Space Telescope. This is my recreation of the James Webb. This only requires no gravity cheat when launching. So let's do that. And then we'll just try to get into orbit and then see kind of how the, the fairings and stuff work. Okay, docked on the surface of Earth for some reason. All right, the launch is going pretty well, I think. Bro, the SRBs are not on. Are they supposed to be? I just clicked the stages. We have no gravity, so like, I think we should burn more sideways. I think it's because the thrust of weight's not above one, so it wouldn't be able to launch if it had gravity. So I think we just, maybe we turn on gravity now? Engage the stage. Ugh! Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get the James Webb Space Telescope into orbit. I'm just gonna stage and see if we can open up the fairing. Okay, it has this little section. Is this supposed to be designed to go to other planets? Like, I'm not sure, cause this definitely seems like it's got power to do other things. And what does this do? It does have a little engine on it. So are we supposed to open this somehow? That did something. These maybe? Uh, guys, I'm figuring it out. Oh, wait, 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 <laughs> dude. <laughs> oh, and then I think you dock these onto this. Okay, this is making sense now. Okay, and then do the same thing with this one, maybe. Uh, oh, I, I somehow broke the probe off on this one. <laughs> so now we have like a half, uh, a half little thing. I think I'm supposed to do more. Like, I'm confused on what all these are. F tier? Why is it F tier? This kind of looks cool. Like, do I break the legs off and move them or something? There's no directions on what to do when you get here. So I'm not really sure. What do you guys think we should rate the James Webb Space Telescope? U tier. U tier is not a tier. Some assembly required. Yeah, you build it in orbit, which I mean, it's fine. But the problem is I don't know how to, like, is where does this go now? Was I supposed to break that off? I actually have no idea. Are these docking ports? I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing. Can I dock this onto the end of this? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, see? See, now it looks really like the James Webb. B tier is currently winning. I think that's fair. All right, B tier has won for the James Webb Space Telescope. All right, next we're gonna do the cruiser. This was submitted by Astral. Just a cruiser I made, the guns work, I'm just too lazy to properly stage them. It looks like there are stages, so we'll figure something out, I guess. The guns are supposed to work. It doesn't move at all. What, did that shoot something? It sounds like it, bro, I can hear it. Uh, oh, <laughs> bro, what is that? Here, let me, let me check the map when I shoot something. Oh yeah, look, it is shooting. Okay, so this is where we are. So if I shoot, see, it does shoot, but I just can't see it. Looks like that has pretty good range too. They're just so small, like the bullets. Hey, you can kind of see it. Oh yeah, 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 look, look. All right, so that is all it does stock, but we should put some like engines on it, right? All right. Uh-oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. One more, one more try. If we just delete this one, I think, I think that'll, that'll, that'll help. Aircraft carrier in the sky. Oh, that actually kind of worked. All right, and then shoot, go, fire. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> definitely not designed for this. Uh, the details are cool though, like the little tower and the little, the little uh, whatever. What is? It? Oh, it's like even got like a propeller back here. What do you guys think we should rate this big boat that shoots? F tier? Why is this F tier, dude? Um, it does look like U tier is winning, which is not a tier. Um, what does that even mean? Okay, here. I got an idea. I got an idea, guys.
There you go. Is this what you guys wanted? YouTube reads ultimate tier. So we have a we have a new tier now. There you go. Congratulations, uh, Astral, on your cruiser making it to U tier, the first ever U tier in the series. All right, next we're gonna do um, the ion rocket, I think. It can go to any planet in hard mode and back. Wow. It is a two-stage rocket. You have to switch to the second part of the rocket for landing. The second part is low thrust, so start burning earlier. Transfer fuel to the second stage. But max 80% uh, both the main stage and second stage have heat shields. Sigma L Riz Geon level 10 mewing mogging. I'm trying to read here. Chill out. All right, we'll figure it out. Let's try to send it to like Venus or something. Let's see. Whoa, that actually is pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. That was a pretty sick Mars. I'm saying Mars. Okay, we'll, we'll send it to Mars. Will this be in a video? I want to be popular PLZ editor. <laughs> Ricky, Ricky L plays. Thank you for the gifted sub. All right, made it to low Earth orbit. All right, so now we're going to try to transfer to Mars. This is a pretty cool design. Like, check that out. Someone said get into an east to west orbit, uh, which would be... Or is that better? Is it better to go like this orbit? Like that? I'm gonna trust you guys. Let's time warp to it now. On our way to Mars, everybody. Transfer to 80% fuel in the second stage. So transfer fuel from here to here. Is this our landing stage? Yeah, it looks like it. All right, let's go for the landing, everyone. Stop balding? Bro, I'm not even. Look. Look, perfect hairline. Why did you bring out landing legs? Because we're going to land. Duh. Oh, I guess I wasn't supposed to yet because you're going to burn up. <laughs> I'm doing my best, guys. Close them. Hurry, close them. All right, saved it. Uh oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> uh, we're fine. We're fine. It was all calculated. Watch, landed on the surface of Mars. All right, uh, no chance of getting back though. That was a cool blueprint. That was my bad that it went so terribly. What do you guys think? Run the pole, slow X. S tier is currently winning, which is a, a valid. Like this is a cool rocket. If I knew what I was doing, like if I had more practice with this, uh, I think I could really use it how it's designed, you know? Congratulations, first S tier. Ship, I beg you let me out of the basement. I am hungry and I am starving. I feed you, chill out. Next blueprint is going to be the anti-grav ship. Ooh. Okay. I present to you the ridiculous anti-grav spaceship. It's very weird indeed. First, you need infinite fuel and no atmospheric drag. Okay. In the launch, first press the stage button. It will launch you to space. Then you can change the map view. You can use RCS to move around the earth in seconds and reach very high speeds. Hmm. All right. Sounds cool. Let's see if it works. How does it have negative? All right, whatever. Dude, what was that? And then you use RCS. Whoa, dude, look how fast it goes. Okay, you have to do it in map view because there's no way you can do this in regular view. But check how fast it goes around the planet. Look at the velocity. Go to Venus. Do you think I can do it without like transferring? Like just literally flying over there? Or I need to like aim in front of Venus so that it like meets up with it, you know? Wait, we're gonna encounter it right there? That's how fast it's going that Venus isn't really gonna move? We're gonna have to slow down. Problem is the throttle is like so touchy, I can't like get into an orbit. Cause like watch, once I slow down, it just reverses me. There's no way to really get into an orbit anywhere, but this is a really cool design. I bet we could crash into Venus if we turn on no collision damage. Okay, let's just see what would happen. Here we go. Ah. Okay, I guess it didn't survive that. <laughs> Uranus here? Wait. What happened? Did we go through Venus? I think we went through it, dude. Wait, let's watch the map. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it went through it, and then that time it died. What do you guys think? Did you put U tier on there? Bro. And there's S plus. All right, the anti gravity ship created by Ashuro BR gets a U tier. Somehow we have tiers above S now. Next is going to be this Gemini uh, engine. This is cool. KEX2 Gemini double belt engine, not from KSP, but original. 
comes with a special decoupler. Needs redstone atlas and expansion packs, which I have. For the rest, needs no additional cheats. The thrust is 360 tons. Mass, 35 tons. So... It fits on a 12 wide fuel tank. So you're supposed to use this like on your rocket build. It's stolen from Space Flight Sim Discord. Is it really? What is it? Uh, not by Kazaza. Don't put it in the video. Ban this fraud. Guys, don't steal your blueprints. Kazaza made it himself 97% sure. Is it stolen or not? Never mind. Kazaza's not a fraud. Okay. So Kazaza made it. Okay, never mind. We're good. We're good. Free my man Kazaza. He ain't do nothing. So it comes with this decoupler. So I'm going to try that. Well, <laughs> it, it doesn't take off. Bro, <laughs> did I put too much weight? I feel like this isn't that big of a rocket for how big the engine is, you know? I guess we're making it smaller. Okay, that's better. I think it's a really cool design, like, looking at it. But I feel like it should have more thrust. Is it supposed to be like a, like not a launch stage? It could be supposed to be kind of like the poodle in Kerbal Space Program. Um, and this also came with it, this little pod. I didn't add another engine, so uh, let's try the stage. Wow. I think it's supposed to be like a, like this is supposed to be kind of like a, something you can put stuff in. I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Uh, is there an interior view? Yeah, look, it's a fairing. So this is like a payload thing to put, you know, whatever inside of it. Let's check the efficiency on it. There's not a good way to check it. It uses two of those, which are efficient engines. These, which have 290 ISP. And then it uses these two, which have 280. So it is supposed to be a high efficiency engine. So it's kind of unfair to launch with it because this is supposed to be like an engine you would use in space. All right, what do you guys think? Uh, B, is that B winning? Uh, very good job. That's a cool engine design. Next vote, make a G-Tear standing for Gaiot. We're not gonna make a Giat here, unfortunately. Next, we're gonna have the airport, submitted by Nosh Nojo. There are no cheats needed, except infinite build area and part clipping. The airport has many planes and details, but you need to automatically open each engine for each plane. The plane's wheels will automatically disappear in two seconds after liftoff. Bro, <laughs> the entire thing just blew up right as we start. I think that was my fault. I think that was a part from another blueprint, but whatever. Let's launch this one. Do we got to break this or something? Do we just run? Can we go through this or what? Like, what is this? Oh, where do I get these blueprints? They're on my discord server. Um, all right, dude. All right. Well, that didn't work. Let's try this one. <laughs> do I have to manually do these? Yay. We're flying, dude. What just fell off? Are these supposed to be airplanes? Cause, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. These don't really look like airplanes. Next. Do I have to, I have to like switch to the, I have to switch to the airport, open this and then switch back. And then it's not staged. So I have to do it all manually, which makes it really hard, <laughs> dude. <laughs> uh, try to land it back at the airport. Where's our one that's flying? We're gonna try to go back and land it. Problem is now the engines are gonna be shooting me down really quick. I'm trying to time my birds. We're burning up now, dude. <laughs> no way I make this. <laughs> well, we're out of fuel now. Well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> we didn't even get close, dude. All right. Pluto is the best planet. Mods, time them out. See, we survived. So, uh, that's a success, right? What do you guys think of the space airport? Very creative. It is cool, like the idea of it. It would be better if the, all of them were actually staged so I could actually fly them. <laughs> Bro, don't, stop voting U tier. 12 seconds later. U tier one, guys. Let the people speak. This is why we shouldn't have democracy and it should be a dictatorship and I just decide. Do not silence us. Next, we have the cannon by Apollo. Just a cannon that can shoot. No required cheats. Just press the stages or spam. If this is in the video, Someone please get me out of jail. I hate it here. I never did anything wrong. Whoa, dude, look, it's got like gears. Are these supposed to push it? Uh, it doesn't really push it. All right, check this out, dude. This is sick. Whoa, look, it shoots, guys. That's so cool. And you can aim it. Can I shoot this? <laughs> How many shots does it have? It has like 30 shots. Finally, an S-worthy cannon. Run the pole. This is really cool. I think these might have a use. Like, I think that maybe they're supposed to push it or their targets or something. <laughs> Why did you, bro, who made the pole? They put two, two S's. Made two S tier. Um, I don't know what, what, I don't even know this tier list anymore, man. 
Bro got the chrome dome cut. What's a chrome dome cut? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I googled chrome dome. <laughs> Dude, no, what? No, 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 no. What is a chrome dome cut? Are you talking about this? <laughs> Who said chrome dome? Time out whoever said chrome dome. Okay. Extremely heavy lift engine. Okay, these are gonna be good launch engines. People were quite unsure about the strategy of collecting metal from the side of the road, but eventually this absolute beast of an engine came out of it. Warranty if used as a grill. That's like a KSP reference. This engine was fun to make. I didn't have to recreate anything so I could do what I wanted. Has two versions. Full, fits on eight wide, and bare sits on six wide. Does not need any cheats, needs parts and skin expansions. Let's use the, the full version. So these are the same engine, just ones designed for different size. So this is a heavy lift engine designed for an eight wide tank okay let's build us a little like uh ssto maybe let's see if we can get it to orbit just something like this dude this is actually pretty sick i like how it's got a little like exhaust kind of pipe that has a little thing coming out of it chip let's play true lies and a truth egypt has no pyramids cows with laser eyes exist space chip is bald um they're all lies this is a really cool engine. So the thing with like engine builds is like, we can't really review them the same as a full blueprint. Cause I like, if you were gonna do it right, you would put this in your build, you know? This is like the most practical blueprint. Yeah, I agree. Like if you want a cool engine, I would totally download this blueprint. All right, made it to orbit. So this is actually really good engine, I think. And then now we'll just deorbit it and then re-enter. What do you guys think we should vote this engine? Engine tier. Yeah, it would go in the engine tier. What's winning on the poll? Winston. Okay, Winston's not a tier, guys. There's no Winston tier. All right, um, this got Winston tier, whatever that is. Winston tier. Next blueprint. Nicknamed Bozo. Oh no, that's the creator? Why is it in quotes? All right, as a big rover for its payload, you can have anything for the payload as long as the craft can still fly. And the engine here was created by Kazaza. We already reviewed it. It has been staged already and make sure when orbiting, go to the second stage for efficiency. The cheats are no heat damage, infinite build area and fuel and part clipping and expansion. What, infinite fuel? Is it even a rocket if there's infinite fuel? This seems like cheating. Just try with no cheats. We'll try it without, but I think we do need infinite fuel. What does this do? Lifts up the launch pad? What does this do? Okay, this is pretty cool. All of this like cool stuff. And then I guess we switch to this. Okay, it does take off. Oh, we need no heat damage or not. I don't know. Wait, did it say no heat damage? Oh yeah, no heat damage. My bad, my bad. That's my bad guys. It's set to go to the second stage when you're going to orbit. I assume this one. It's pro probably fine. Easy orbit, dude. All right. And it still has some fuel, so I don't know why it needs infinite fuel. I mean, maybe it's not really going to get anywhere else. Let's try to just send it to the moon. All right, this is working pretty well, actually. Uh, should I? I don't know what I'm doing, man. Oh, probably shouldn't do that yet. Hey, it said we needed infinite fuel, and I made it to the moon without infinite fuel. So that's good, right? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let's see if we can get this rover. Oh. Oh, we used all the fuel. Uh, but here's the rover. I don't think, does the heat shield come off? Yeah, it does. Oh, now we're, all right. This is why we're supposed to have infinite fuel, I think. What tier should this go on? U tier. Okay, U tier is not a tier. This is the state of our tier list right now. This is what happens when I let chat pick the tiers. What's winning? S tier by a lot. Final blueprint for today, the Eiffel Tower. All right, this was submitted by that one confused. It says, bonjour, I see that I have brought your attention. Before downloading this, um, I want you to note something. I am the creator of a rocket launcher random thing that I did that got a Pluto-like score. So why am I telling you this? In redemption for that ranking, I proudly present the one, the only, the Eiffel Tower. An accurate recreation. I mean, the definitely real Eiffel Tower that I somehow got permission to fly into the stratosphere. Pretty laggy. I wouldn't recommend using a low-end device. I don't have a low-end device. It doesn't require DLC, all from free structural parts. Nice. Also includes a cool looking signboard to the right, which you're gonna have to ignore the crash at the beginning for the sake of advertising and stuff. Oh, look, it's got a, it's, <laughs> it's got a little thing. All right, this actually is pretty cool. Bro, it's already staged. <laughs> Bro, what is this? I assume I wait for these to be out and then I stage the next one. I don't really know. See, we can get it to orbit. 
<laughs> dude, what is this? It's so laggy, dude. The frames, I know. Look, it's literally frozen. The game is frozen. I think we might have crashed it. Oh, it's going. Seconds per frame here. Bro, what is this? This is unplayable. I think the game is just not well optimized. This is a take the L tier. This is the lag tier. Crash the game. Uh, all right. Uh, what do you guys want to rate it? <laughs> Run the poll. D? <laughs> Wait, D tier is actually going to get a use? What? We never use D tier, dude. It's between S and D, bro. <laughs> S tier has one for the Eiffel Tower. All right, here's our final blueprint um, review list for today. This is definitely the worst blueprint review we've done. They're not even ranked, but thank you. Peace out, everyone. See you all soon.